Welcome back. Today I wanted to show you how to do that popping out of frame, or sometimes it's just called out of frame effect. That gives you that little 3D stuff in this Canva tutorial. That's what we're gonna cover. I like to add these images to my syllabus, to my signature page, on my emails, wherever you can add an image, you can add these. Let's get started. So here we are in canva.com. I'm in my free teacher account. You wanna go ahead and create a design, choose whatever size you would like. For this, I wanna go ahead and change the background color so that you can see what's happening. So here I am, I have my background changed so that you can see. And the first thing I wanna do is go to element and type in frames. Then scroll down, find the frame that you like. I've chosen this computer. Then you wanna upload an image or you can search for images if you would like under elements. I've got my own image and then I'm gonna place that in the frame, double click on it, and then I can resize it so that the top of my head is popping out of this frame. Done? That's good. Now I'm going to add the same image back in, leave it highlighted, go to transparency, and I'm going to drop the transparency so I can see the image behind it. So like about 40, and I need to resize it so that it's the same size as the one underneath. So with my second image still highlighted, I'm going to adjust it. I'm looking at my eyes to see that they line up. Looks good. And it's still highlighted. Go to Effects, Background Remover. And because this is matched up really nicely, put my shoulders out, I'm gonna go ahead and crop this into my frame. And the bottom is a little too low. Crop that into my frame. Have to bring back up the transparency. And there you have it. Once you have your image, you go up here, you go download, and you want to make sure it has a transparent background. And then you can insert this popping out effect wherever you would insert an image. So that's how I'm able to create this image for my syllabus. If you found a tip you can use, please make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos and share it with a teacher friend that you think will benefit from this content. And until next week, why don't you check out these videos? I'll see you in the next one. Step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.